Dear students, this is Basavaraj Mali, Associate Professor, Sheikh Engineering College, Belgami. Today, in the solid waste management for your sixth sem, I am going to teach you about composting. So, composting, as you know, the name itself suggests a composting is a conversion or transformation of biodegradable material into simple substances which can be absorbed by plants. So, it composting turns the biodegradable waste into manure. So, what are the contents to be studied? Uh, aerobic and anaerobic methods, process description, process microbiology, design consideration, mechanical composting, vermicomposting, numerical problems. So, let us see the composting in detail. So, composting definition, as I told you, composting is transformation of biodegradable organic materials like proteins, amino acids, lipids, carbohydrates into simple materials like nitrogen, sulfur, water and carbon dioxide which act as fertilizers to plants. These are the two types mainly. The conversion can be taken is done in two types. One is called aerobic. Aerobic means it is in presence of oxygen or in presence of natural air. Then anaerobic it is in absence of oxygen. So, what is the reaction? What happens in aerobic? So, organic waste. So, whatever organic waste when <coughs> added with oxygen plus some microorganisms. So, in a warm temperatures around 50-55 degrees, it is converted into a compost that is simple materials which can be absorbed by plants plus carbon dioxide is liberated and water and nitrogen and sulfur oxides are liberated with some amount of heat and microorganisms again are rebuilt in that mantle. So, this is aerobic reaction. Anaerobic reaction that is in absence of oxygen. The organic matter plus water and nutrients, no oxygen is there. In, in presence of temperature, warm temperatures, CH4 that is methane, then <coughs> hydrogen and nitrogens plus carbon dioxide, then H2S gas, some amount of heat and stable organic matter plus some new cells are liberated. So, this is aerobic and anaerobic reactions. So, the main objectives of composting, what are the objectives or what is our aim of composting? So, composting we need have, we need to have some aims. The first aim or objective is to transform biodegradable organic material into stable materials like NO3, SO4, H2O, CO2, etc. So, the complex material should be broken into the simpler ones. That is first aim. Second, to destroy pathogens. We have to dis destroy harmful insect eggs, weed seeds and unwanted organic from solid wastes. So, that is the second aim. Third aim, to retain maximum nutrients that is nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. All these should be retained in the then fourth one to produce manure. So it should be useful for the plants. Then fifth one compost lightened soil, improve its structure and moisture retention. So these are our main objectives. Uh, I also given them in our notes. So let us see next part. What are the uses of compost? So, where compost, you know, it is a manure now. So, what can be the uses? 
the uses of compost are during composting the plant nutrients are converted to such forms which get released gradually so nutrients are released naturally so there is no leaching or acidic matter produced so natural transformation of nutrients okay which can be absorbed easily by the plants so that is the first use second use it contains trace elements such as manganese copper barium which are essential for growth of plants so these are very essential for growth of plants manganese copper and barium so uh, such trace elements are uh, essential the which uh, we are retaining then third one it is a good soil conditioner and increases texture of soil so texture of soil it softens soil it becomes lighter and it is a, it is like a good conditioner then fourth it improves ion exchange and water retaining capacity of soil so water retaining capacity of soil is increased and ion exchange also improves then fifth one compost adds stabilized organic matter then sixth increases buffering capacity of soil so this is these are some of the uses of a compost when i just see next this is a very important topic that is factors affecting composting process so the how this composting process should be done in a laboratory manner or very ethically some design consideration this is these are also called as design consideration for aerobic this is for aerobic not anaerobic this is for steps are for aerobic composting so various factors if you follow these factors the conversion will be successful and the manure will be best for the use of plants so let us see one by one what are these various factors or design consideration so first one is particle size you know the kitchen waste or food waste or whatever solid waste is there it will be in irregular size maybe bigger or smaller for good results it should be between 25 mm to 75 mm that is 1 inch to 3 inch so then only that conversion will be easy second carbon nitrogen ratio the ratio of carbon to nitrogen this is 25 if if carbon is 25 nitrogen should be 50 okay 1 is to 2 this this ratio should be maintained in the solid waste okay how much carbon is there it's double the amount nitrogen should be there so that will facilitate the composting process then moisture content it there there should be a moisture content of 50 to 60% not more or even not less 50 to 60% is uh, ideal for uh, the process of conversion so then blending and seeding blending is like mixing okay blending is mixing with some seeding what is this seeding seeding means you are to you are to put some culture media in that that is microorganisms you have to add to initiate the process fast so what type of seeding material composting time is reduced by seeding okay it speeds up the composting time so seeding with partially decomposed solid wastes about 1 to 5% of seeding material we have to add these are available in the market if not available even a cow dung paste or cow dung when mixed with water you have to make it paste and add it the microorganism present there will speed up the process so that is mixing blending with uh, that seeding with some that material 
okay then next mixing and turning so the material the process will be more faster if you mix otherwise if you leave it like that only the inside portion will be wet and outside it will be dry so it will become uh, drying and caking outside hence you have to turn it in and out okay so often if you turn it it will the process will be good okay. then temperature of course initially a uh, temperature recommended are 50 to 55 percent and later 55 to 60 percent this is the temperature required control of pathogens with temperature between 60 to 70 degrees for 24 hours see that your waste is exposed to 60 to 70 percent 70 degree centigrade for 24 hours before conversion so that all the pathogens die then air requirement air with oxygen should reach all parts of waste especially for aerobic composting so if you put air everywhere it initiates the reactions then ph control of course 7 to 7.5 ph should be maintained if it is less or more it will be basic or acidic since 7 to 7.5 is recommended then land required of course you need a land of 1.5 to 2 acres of land for 50 tons per day conversion of compost so friends today i will end it here so next in class we'll study the various techniques of composting thank you